morning everybody it's sunday morning august 25th uh we are babysitting the grandson and the grand dog this morning we're starting off our day going for a walk and yeah it ought to be a good a good day anyway i, I need both hands i'll be back you're taking video of yourself now Next, I'm going to wrap this around your arm. I don't know how to manage that, but you you're taking video of yourself. Yeah. I don't know how you manage that. But yeah, the camera's on. It's It's just after 6. I had to run to the grocery store cuz there were a few things we forgot the other day. Um and we needed more baby food cuz we had a very high energy, very hungry day. So, yeah. yeah, Junior's hungry. Always. And there was a moment where, uh, well, more than one moment where he was just super cute. And of course, my favorite part's when he's napping. So, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to go home now and have some lunch. And maybe I can get squeeze dinner. some creativity in because I haven't done that today. But I'm thinking after dinner, while we're relaxing and hubby's watching TV, I can crochet on the scrap afghan I started last night. So. Anyway, and I have tomorrow off. No kids. <sighs> no kids, yeah. So no chillin'. Anyway, no chill no chillins. So anyway. Monday morning people. It is Monday morning, August 26th. Yes, I constantly want to say October. I have no idea why. Anyway, we're out. We're gonna run some crafty errands. Um a couple of thrift stores, Michaels, and um maybe Ross dress for less, we'll see. Anyway, uh, and then later on, I've got to catch up on some artwork and edit the vlog, and it's going to be a busy Monday, but that's okay. So anyway, I have a lot of stuff to get done before tomorrow, which is babysitting day, so we're going to try to get that done. I'll be back. Okay, so once I got done running around, uh, I ended up spending all of about five bucks most of what I was looking for I couldn't find, which is normal. But I did find some cool stuff. Um, spent the rest of the afternoon editing video, doing catching up on daily drawings and all that stuff. Now we're headed to a community meeting that we have to go to, which is down the street. So we're gonna just walk. It's only a couple blocks away. We so we have to go uphill. It's like 80 something degrees out. So I might be at the wedding sweaty, but I do have a scrunchie. Yeah, at the wedding sweaty? sweaty? At the wedding? No, at the meeting, meeting. I meant. Yeah. Holy cow. I'm telling you, my brain and mouth are just not fully engaged anymore right now. They're just not. So anyway. Look at all the people walking. Too, right? Everybody else is walking too. Everybody else is walking. All right. We're going to go get it done. Nice. I'll be back. It is the end of day on Tuesday. Um, I think it's August 27th. Uh, it's after six o'clock. I think it's nearing 6.30. Bob is out for our evening walk. I already did my walk with Junior. Um, after he went home for the day, I came up and started working on a project. So I acquired a box um, from Amazon meant for jewelry storage when you're traveling. I will put a picture of it here from Amazon. Um, and per a video I will link down below I gutted the box when it came in it is now drying it's going to be a little travel stitching kit for me I do do the occasional cross stitch project um, and it's something that I can very easily take with me so um, we're going to try taking it in something like that. That I mean, it would be cute. So, uh, And who am I kidding? I just like making art boxes and bags. It's just a thing. Um, so that's drying. I'm. I, why am I over here? I think I need one more clamp for something. <laughs> um, what exactly? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. So anyway, that's drying. Um, other than buying the box for less than 10 bucks... Um, everything else I had, I had everything else here. Um, I did watch the video series that um, I'm referencing down below and she did a great job on hers. And um, so I'm trying to do an equally as good of a job. We are using clear Gorilla Glue. So hopefully it actually does dry clear. Right now it looks really wet. <laughs> um, 
I do have a little bit of fabric left, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, otherwise, um, it's all good. I'm gonna do my daily drawings really quick while Bob is out walking because I haven't done them yet because babysitting. Um, and instead of having tomorrow off, it looks like I'm babysitting again because son-in-law is out of town, daughters got to work, and I need to babysit for, it's only a couple hours, so it's like not a big deal, but yeah. So we'll go, we'll go take care of that and help them out tomorrow. So anyway, and the husband's going into the office once a week going forward starting tomorrow. So that's all right. All right. That's it for the minute. Let's get this drawing done. I'll be back. Daily drawing is done. Enough procrastinating. I guess I better do the dishes. Ugh, I hate dishes. Seriously, dishes and grocery shopping. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, I am at daughter and son-in-law's house. Um, I guess technically babysitting uh, while uh, Junior takes a nap. Well, and sister. Um, <laughs> Mommy had a real estate showing um, during nap time and daddy is out of town. So we're just here for a little bit um, monitoring things. Mommy is gonna grab some lunch and she's on her way home. Then I'm gonna go home and have my lunch. So I did finish um, a blanket while I was waiting. And um, yeah. Put some uh, projects I want to work on at home. So, yeah, it's all good. Which project exactly? I don't know. Sewing projects, painting projects. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get there. I'll be back. Everybody, it's about 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, August um, 29th, maybe. I don't know. You know, I was right. August 29th. Uh, uh, can you tell by the hair I've been babysitting today? <laughs> anyway, it was a good day with Junior. He is walking um, and moving and wanting to do lots of laps all over the place. And yeah, so can't take your eye off of him for a second. I did get some donation um, giveaway hats crocheted today. Um, I got three beanies made and the basket is overflowing. So we need to start giving some away. I'm working on number four. I just remembered I haven't gotten the mail yet. I also haven't done today's daily drawing, so we're gonna try to get both of those done. Bob is out at his Masonic Lodge meeting and he won't be home for a while. So let's go get these two things done and then have some iced coffee. I'll be back. Okay. Daily drawing is done. So we can go downstairs and make our iced coffee. I do have this um, jacket thing to finish sewing projects. I have two pair of pants out here on the table to finish. Um, and another, another jacket over there. So I need to find some time to like, just have time to do some sewing when I can. It's easier, um, when things are busy with babysitting and stuff to find a couple minutes to do a sketch, find a few minutes to do some crocheting, um, then sit at the sewing, sewing machine. I need more time than just a couple minutes, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but I'm working on a, pants and I bought a jumpsuit recently thrifted it. I think it's in a vlog somewhere. Anyway, um, love it. Love the way it fits. I want to kind of do the pants as just pants. So I used a pattern 
the name of which I can't remember, but I'll put it here somewhere. Um, and I'm using that as my base and then adjusting it to be similar to the jumpsuit. We'll see if it works. I don't know. In my mind it works, but that doesn't mean anything necessarily. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make that iced coffee and sit and work on some more hats because I've got more hats to finish. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, um, it's lunchtime on Friday, August 30th. I've been sewing all morning. I could have gone to go run errands, but I didn't want to. I've had this rose fabric up in my art room for a while. It's actually 100% cotton bed sheets. And these pants are patterned off of the Universal Threads jumpsuit that I told you all I found while thrifting. And um, yeah, I actually love it. So this is the front, Is it's flat in the front, but I have elastic in the back. They're not super tight, which I appreciate. They're just comfortable. Um, if I do lose any more weight, I could take them in and or put elastic in the front if I needed to, um, which is fine. I have a pocket here, which was on the original pants. And then I added an extra small pocket, which should fit my wallet or my phone. I love them. I would normally wear them with something like this. I like that they're not super long. Yeah. They turned out super cute. Anyway, it's time for me to eat lunch. I'm gonna make another pair in some white cotton that I have and probably dye them um, either a denim color or black or green. I haven't decided yet, but I'll just get the pants made first and then we'll figure it out later. All right, I'll Good be morning, back. morning, everybody. Uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, August 31st. And we are headed out. It's gonna be blasting hot here today again mid to high 90s <laughs> yeah anyway we're gonna go feed grand cat biscuit his parents are out of town and then we're gonna probably go on a drive maybe head towards the coast um because why not and we don't have anything else planned today we did our grocery shopping late last night after the family went home from family dinner night and that freed up our day, so. Um, why not? Why not? Yeah. So. It's and a three-day weekend. It's a three-day plans. Yeah, and it's going to be much cooler at the coast than over here. So. I got full tank of gas. Yeah, all the things. So we'll take you with us where we can, and I'll be back. We're in Depot Bay, Oregon. We're gonna have some lunch, visit some shops, and just enjoy the day. We have no timeline, timeline. we have nowhere we need to be. I brought some crocheting with me, it's in the car. I'm working on another blanket. And we're just gonna have a fun afternoon at the coast, because why not? All right, I'll be back. coast I swear not that you can see much it's very foggy out here today but you can hear it you can hear it but there there's a view real pretty what you can see though hey guys we are home from the beach and that was a really fun day I did get one small keychain then I'm gonna take apart and turn into stitch markers one is a little metal they're all metal and enamel one uh, is an Oregon license plate. One is a lighthouse. And one is a picture of the Oregon coast. So um, we're going to do that at some point. Not right this second. <laughs> um, I started and get made pretty good progress on a blanket while I was gone. Wait, I need a light if I'm gonna do this. Hold up, see, it's light. Uh, okay. Um, 
I'll put a picture here of the blanket. I was gonna do some more hats, but I got honestly a little sick of doing hats. So there's that. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't get done. Um, but that's okay because the yarn is turning into a real cute little small baby or toddler blanket. So then that'll be added to the giveaway stack. Um, I just crocheted in the car while we were to and from the beach. I didn't do any crocheting in between. Uh, we were too busy walking and just looking at stuff and went to one of the lighthouses and, um, where was the lighthouse at? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh wait, Yaquina, um at the Yaquina Head in Newport, Oregon. And that's also where the Oregon um, Aquarium, I don't think that's what it's called. Mm -mm. Oregon Coast Aquarium. We have a couple of them, but that's the bigger, bigger one, I think. Uh, it's in Newport. You can probably Google it. Anyway, we didn't go there today, but we have been there before, and it's really nice. Um, so anyway, it was a lot of fun. It was just a random kind of thing where, like, we got our grocery shopping done, and um, we did m m uh, miss a couple things or need a couple other things, but we stopped at the actually Newport Walmart while we were there, picked them up. Found some food things at a local made in Oregon market there that we hadn't seen before. We brought those home. It was really cute and a fun day and we really loved it. So, you know, it's always a good idea to just get out and get some fresh air. And basically that's what we did. It's hotter than Hades over here um, at home. And you know, the coast was really nice and cool. So it was a great day. I am, since I'm up here doing this and closing the vlog, which is what we're doing. I'm going to do today's daily drawing and close out this journal um, for the months of July and August. And I already have the new one here ready to go. And then I'll write a little bit about today in my oop, little journal that I do writing in. Um, I also have the parking ticket from the where we went to go look at the lighthouse, so I'll probably tape that in here. And I have a couple of fortunes from fortune cookies from the other night. I'll tape those in too, but anyway. I am looking for a really good local yarn shop. Somebody who will cater to or will um, be open to knitters and crocheters. They're not all like that. Um, so far, um, there, there's been a couple that I enjoy. I can't say have a favorite. I like for yarn sake and I like nitro knitters. Um, there's also another one I haven't been to yet in Forest Grove um, called The Naughty Lamb. I haven't been there yet. But if you have a favorite one in the Portland, Oregon area, a favorite yarn shop um, that has a nice selection of quality yarns and maybe some classes. Um, and, you know, we'll um, have stuff for knitters and crocheters. Let me know. Leave something down in the comments. If you also have a favorite little yarn shop where you are, maybe leave that down there too because there might be somebody in your area that's looking for something. And or the store might have a website that we can patronize. Juan the Arctic, Yarn Addict just went to one where he lives in Delaware today and oh, it looks so cute. Um, I love a good little yarn shop. But anyway, what else? Um... Got the other pair of pants um, halfway done yesterday. Um, so I'll continue working on those this week. And then I have another one other pair I wanna make, probably do them a little longer. And I think that's it for the minute for this week. There's a lot of other stuff coming in, coming up that is on my mind, including working in these. I will talk about this next week. But yeah, and these are about two and a half inches square. Um, you know, since the grandson is born, I love doing art, but 
It really needs to be stuff that I can do in a few minutes. Um, Cause I don't anymore get a ton of days where I can just sit in art all day. Even when I'm not babysitting, I'm doing other stuff. So yeah. And I know there's a lot of you out there like that, that are just like me. So if you're interested in trying to figure out how to squeeze in your creativity into your crazy busy schedule, that's probably even busier than mine, um, stay tuned. And if you have some great ideas, share them. I'd love to hear it. And I'm sure other people would too. So anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good things out of it. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, thumbs up are a great idea. Or as Juan calls them, thummies. Please give me some thummies. And um, yeah, go out and have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out the video description for relevant links and all the ways to support and all the things. Go create something fun. Spend time with your family. And yeah, hugs from me. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.